right, it looks like we are in. Can't believe it. So let's see if this actually works. Nice. Well, they started the patch one hour early. <laughs> And, you know, it kind of worked. Next time they should better start it like two hours early. Um, but, you know, it's an improvement. It's an improvement. I gotta hand it to them. So, let's see. Right? Yes, we're good. Let's do the seasonal quest line. Let's see what happens. God, I have to wait, really. Keep moving, traveler. It's a bad time to be in Geakun. Let's get over this. Can we already, uh, what is the you? thing here no battle pass no thank you uh okay so we cannot choose anything yet wait where are we going really <laughs> so, so they gotta make you run like all across the freaking continent for the like very first seasonal quest. Oh dear. So uh, there's a chance that there's like a power leveling method. Um, we saw it in the um, the Blizzard video. So at some point in the seasonal quest line, you're gonna enter a dungeon, and that dungeon had like three elites at the very beginning. So I don't know like how that dungeon continues, but there might be an option to. Um, keep resetting that dungeon and I really want to go there fast to um, see if that is actually the truth or not so let's see so the guy was like level 7 when he when he uh, got there so I guess it wouldn't take all that long should actually pick up these um, herbs here kind of a mistake very beginning you want to basically pick up all the stuff which you encounter because you want to craft um, the a XP elixirs. Well, it's actually these like you need gallow wines and uh, bite berries for the first one so um, kind of need to get some from fractured peaks. So what do we do here? Isn't the other guy doing the work for me? Ah okay so this is already the dungeon I believe. So um Here's the thing, right? So now we're gonna spawn. If it's like in the um, in the developer stream, we're gonna get three elites now here. Let's see. Support. So that was definitely not the three elites from the um, developer stream because there was like three scorpions right in the beginning and I don't see any scorpions here whatsoever. So that's definitely not it. So let's see. These die pretty fast. Like that's like the difference in season. Um, the the first elites are just level three, and in uh, non seasonal, those elites are like level um, five to seven at the very beginning, I believe. So um, it's kind of kind of like way easier in season to start. Okay, so this is the construct. Okay, so this is the three constructs we saw. So they drop shattered stones. I don't know if these are like kind of important at the very beginning. But you know, we could reset this now and uh, uh, go back in. And. But I don't think like it, it matters to. Well, there's like four of these constructs, but 
It doesn't look like they drop anything important here. But but the shattered stones. Okay, there's actually more of these. I don't know actually if this scales. So if I now just like um let's just see. Like let me leave this dungeon now and reset it. And just see if like this makes some kind of sense or not. So shattered stones, I don't even remember what these are. I think it's like the currency where you can um, craft the, the stones with later. So, but do we have anything here? We have mysterious runes. So this is just quest items. And I guess this is like shattered stones will probably be somewhere in these ones here, right? Yeah, so they are. So uh, they are used to craft governing stones, but I don't think they're going to be rare. So I don't think it's worth going in here just for the stones. Doesn't look like a bad dungeon though. Yeah, everybody is playing, right? <laughs> so no, I don't I don't think this is going to be a power leveling method actually. Even though like this dungeon has like very nice uh, monster sets here. These are pretty easy and all melee and they just walk to you. Um, I still don't think um, that this is like worse power leveling. Would start like right at this fight here, but um, well, they give okay XP, but this is nothing special, really. Yes, we get like four or five, or even I think it's so, like six elites, like right here, but I don't think that's gonna be worth farming, to be honest. And I don't think the shattered stones, I, I think this is not um, a stone much at this point. I think these are gonna drop in like the regular dungeons anyway, so we're gonna continue. This I don't think this is gonna be a power leveling method here, even though it's like six or seven elites. I mean, it's not bad, but you know the the, the uh, it takes way too long to get here. Like you have to pass like the entire beginning of this dungeon to get here. So I don't think this is going to be like um, meaningful power leveling here. Let's continue through this dungeon. Like, maybe this dungeon is like super long. Who knows? Because it, it definitely has a lot of elites in here. I gotta say that. It's not like there's no elites in here. I already had like 15 ish. But, you know, I, I just gotta assume this is like a regular vault. I don't think this is anything special. So I guess we're not gonna wait. Well, this actually just gave like, uh, okay, the quest is complete now. So I, I am not gonna be able to repeat this. I don't know about the Hydra though. Um, like the, there's a buff to burning damage. So um, it might be a good build. Not gonna be my initial build. My initial build is either gonna be Meteor. Well, let, let's, let's put it like this, right? The, I will have a very early game build, and that is ho most likely going to be Blizzard. And then I will probably go into um, Arklash or um, Meteor. I don't, like, I think Meteor is going to be great early game, but I don't think it's going to be great mid game, and then it's probably going to be great late game again. That's, like, kind of my feeling. Um, oh, look at that. Urbcag. That's nice. Um,. Just put on some stuff here. So that's that's just my assumption that we're gonna have. Oh, I have to open the chest in here, right? There. So that we're gonna have um, 
like not so great mid game with um, Meteor. It's gonna be great like once you know if you if you just get like the 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 helmet and then you can you know launch like four Meteors at once as like you know for free without any mana cost just put it on your bar. So that's gonna be a great addition. Um, and then it's gonna start falling off in mid game I believe. And then once you have like um, crazy cooldown reduction and stuff like that, it's probably gonna be back. That's just my assumption. It's an ex yeah, it, it takes a while um, until it falls down, that is correct. But you know, you're probably gonna mix it like with a uh, firewall or something like that, or fireball to um, trigger the lucky hits. Because Meteor itself, yeah, it can trigger its own lucky hit, but it's not that great. What is this guy doing here? Do have to hit it? No. So I really want to try, um, so since they announced that the um, new uniques are going to be um, dropped by the Beast of Ice, because nobody would do that boss, right? So they just gave it like some new unique, so somebody would like actually play it. Um, just... Uh, Wait, I won't. Oh, I should actually... Does it do anything? Is it like an infinite spawn? Do they give XP? No, right? So Blizzard learned the lesson to not um, have mobs uh, spawned in events give XP because they always had to like, you know, tailor every single event and not fail them, you know, being like... Uh, so you could kill them forever so they basically at some point they just decided all right you know what like anything which spawns in like events we just don't uh have it give any xp anymore whatsoever pretty poor but you know that's what it is all right what do we have here anything new nope i have to check my skills i already have firewall this goes so fast um, so let's just put this on. Fish is a sensor designed to protect its charge. Oh, I, I guess I we're gonna get the construct already now. Um, this takes so long. It's nice, thank you very much. I am ready for whatever. So now I can just go into my inventory, right? And I can give it like the lightning bolt here. This is all I have. Tuning stones. Right, I have two. I don't even care which ones. Electrocution, mockery support. I don't care what it does actually. So So the guy is here. Let's see how much damage he does. I'm like interested in that. Got this. Alongside another mage, Zoltan Kuhl of the Enyak clan. A mage. All right, this might be another resettable dungeon, so let's check it. If it's a. Like, if we find like a dungeon which seems to be like incredibly like high uh, mob density, um, we want to see if we can uh, reset it. This seems to be just an event. Zoltan insisted on security. Security which Malthas has So boring. I was really hoping for like a crazy power leveling method like right in the beginning. This hall is We already have seasonal stuff. Here we get the first one. Level twenty eight, nice. See level twenty eight? Yeah. Okay. Yes, so. What's happening here? Should I just go? Yes. Oh. So, like, what do I do? I, what? Am I supposed to, like, dodge this? I guess, right? Well. <laughs> like, th that's Blizzard tuning, right? It, like, doesn't even remote me kill, uh, remotely kill me. So, I could just brute force through here with, like, potions. Wait, I wanted to see how much damage the Construct does. I didn't even get a chance to look at it. Oh, well 
Right, let's see. Here I go. I'll be better. Once you find something. So can you fire like little construct, please? Can you do something? Right, shoot it. Shoot it. Alright, so it does. But it does like well, it does like as much damage as my Arclash looks like. But that's actually not too terrible. I mean, it's not gonna matter at all in the very beginning, but at least it does some damage, I guess. But, you know, pretty underwhelming, I guess. Yeah, I think it was like 60, 60 damage. Okay, 72, let's see, 86. Oh, I mean, it's okay. Not, It's not terrible, right? This is good stuff. So it does about the same damage that I do. So with my current attack rate, obviously that's not going to be very significant. And if the scaling wouldn't change, then this would probably not matter at all in the very late game because, you know... But maybe it scales with your attack speed. Who knows? We're gonna find out. At least it's like not completely useless, right? That's a good thing already. I mean, I'm not like overly excited about this construct thing. It's also moving like way too slow. Like it's very far behind all the time, it feels like. I don't, I don't know if that's intentional or not. It's so annoying that you have to move back to like pick up all these shattered stones. Oh, come on. But I, I mean, like, the vaults don't look too bad for now. Just like a regular dungeon, I guess. Like, domain tunnels is pretty gonna, like, 15 million times better than this, but... Uh, that was... Right. Don't just vanish without a trace. I'm not gonna go in for a uh, fletch firewall yet. I'm gonna wait for my enchantment slot here. Oh. Dearest Freddy. Wait, who is that? I guess it just like Me. Yeah. I mean we're gonna see, like you know, it's gonna get like better skills, right? We just have like random stuff right now. How many years have I Taunting and what is it? So they'll apply this lightning damage while it does the lightning damage. Well, you know, it doesn't really matter at all, at the, I guess. You know, I guess it's just like, as soon as you get like um, supportive gems, like burning support, it's probably gonna matter. I really would like to, um, like, am I waiting for something here? Like. I guess, right? I have no clue. Like, there's no, like, sign on the map. Should I just go? Just go. Maybe something happens when I come back. Super annoying. Okay, something happens, I guess. Yeah, that was dangerous. I could do with a strong tea. But I'm still here. Oh, why does it have to take so long? It used to be a demon's puppet the king. At least I can look at my gear. I'll meet you in the gate hall. Oh, nice. What's that? So in the very beginning you like basically never want to go for want and focus. Just, you know, accept it. Want and focus is nothing for the early game. Never ever. I mean, they. Am I supposed to click on this? Probably, right? So I have like the mark. I don't know. I, w I would like if they would be a little bit more. Um, 
precise with their like marks. Oh, okay, I'm already in here. So this is the waypoint, right? Yeah. Okay, so from here we can probably go for like the walls if we want. Can I mount here? Oh, I can't mount here. Very nice. Uh, okay. It's actually... Where do I get so many obols? Alright, what is this? Side quest. Let's do. You refused to listen to reason. We're just gonna uh, continue finishing this quest line first. I think that's a smart thing to do. You will find the tunnels collapse. The siphons. And then we're gonna experiment with the construct. Okay. And skip it. So this is. Going to be the first portal, I guess. Well, let's just follow like these super slow guys walking around randomly. Click scrolls. I've clicked now. Talk to the guy. Normally, you could fly. I have to click stuff. What? Move all the way back? Kidding me? Come on. Why? Can you just make an opening here? Why do I have to walk this way? What is this level design? Like you want to make a good impression to players? Can you just put like a a walkway there so I don't have to like go <laughs> to like Ah, I should have ported to town and taken the waypoint. Like so annoying. Go. Is there? Oh, well, is it? Is it just telling me to go out? What is it? This is so confusing. Let's see. All right. So it tells me to go out, and now it tells me to go back in. Search for vaults of Zoltan Cool's journal. So, all right. This is like so annoying, but um, I have to go back in again, I guess. I don't know what this tooltip was. It's probably like somewhere on the wall. So outside here, there's already the event. So that's a good thing, I guess. But yeah, I guess I have to click like the walls here. There's nothing here. Find a way into the vault of copper in Skosglen. Right, so I guess I don't have to go in here. Like, I have no clue what I have to do, actually. Let's check the map. I hate Blizzard with their tooltips. So, I have nothing here. Uh, there's... Okay, there's uh, events. Okay, I obviously have to go somewhere randomly. But now, let's let's just complete these events for now. Um, let's, let's try to be efficient here, right? So, I think this is going to be pretty much the same than Blood Harvest was, and I think it's going to be the preferred way of leveling. And I already see like these events uh, going on here. I'm not gonna craft potions for now. I'm gonna finish these events here real quick. So what am I gonna do? Oh yeah, so you see? It's like a gazillion mobs already. Right, I need elemental cores. Wonder who's that gonna drop? Okay, apparently I should not run inside this obelisk thing. So what is it gonna do? Okay. Get it. I understand. Alright, so this drops the elemental core, but it doesn't do anything else, right? Okay, so I gotta get three elemental cores. Oh, this is pretty boring. So I just gotta go, go to like these random things here, wait for flame shit to come up so I can click them, and then they just gotta do what? Weren't they supposed to spawn a boss? Click them repetitively? No, I can't click it now. What am I doing? <laughs> do I have to wait? No, it's done, right? Oh, this is so confusing. Really, this is like really confusing. Anyway. So I guess I gotta get a third one of those things. 
Then I'm gonna go for like the the other thing, and then I'm gonna get something maybe. <laughs> right. So let's do this. Oh, it's already done. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a boss. <laughs> nice. Beat. So do I have the stones now? Is it like I don't understand this thing? Is it active? Is it not active? What is it doing? I think if it when it's gray, like it has been activated and it already dropped like its core. Then when it dropped its core. So should, do I have three now? Okay, oh nice, somebody summoned the boss for me. That's nice. Ah, governing stone. Okay, got it. So it's probably just gonna be like uh, last season. Just go overworld and farm with like everybody who's around here and abuse these brazier events because you know people are gonna spawn them anyway. So you can pretty much just wait for them. Um, wonder if I should even like complete the quest line at this point. So, right. So you can activate it yourself. But you cannot also just wait. <laughs> so this is like the the boring way of leveling but it's exactly the same like it was in blood tide um but in blood tide the um, you needed much more to activate the event like this time you just need like three of those cores and they're like pretty easy to obtain so this is going to be like the power leveling method like that's it nothing special about it it's gonna spawn a boss eventually and we're just gonna level there's the boss dies instantly it's gonna drop me like one of these governing stones again. Thank you very much, brother. And there you have it! This is the new season! <laughs> Alright, so should I wait here? Like, Just wait for the next guy to activate this thing. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to say that this is terrible design, but this is terrible design. Like, am I going to stand here, like, all day now, like, power leveling because I want to have my governing stones and everything? Like... It's good if you're at work, you can just, you know, put it on your second screen and you just stand here and, uh... <laughs> you will just, like, power level. Like, I could go, like, eat now, or do whatever, I would just have to stand next to this brazier. And people would probably even revive me, so I could just AFK here until I have, like, 15 levels. Alright, this just hit me, why? It seems to get a little bit harder, though. Or maybe the boss is, like, it has different affixes. This one seems to be, like, pretty fast. All right. So should I even like continue right now? Well, I guess you wanna. Um, oh, okay, so it's gonna be the um, hourly event, I guess again, like always, probably. Okay. So, but I don't get the elemental. So, the elemental cores have to be farmed, and now like everybody is pretty much done with farming, so we have to wait until there's new elemental cores. So I'm gonna, just going to continue with the quest for now, for a little bit. Alright, so let me just go to K-Town real quick, update my potion and stuff like that. And get uh, XP potions. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, you, you're riding it, it's like a new old season, like, really, that's is what it is. Yeah, come on for one focus now. Um, just because I don't have any. But yeah, it's new old season. Like, exchange the vampires for like something else. And well, that's what it is, right? Anything else? Okay, update potion. Let's go finish the quest line. Yeah, like, it, it's, it's just like the last season. So there's the whispers. I just completed them already. Um, I think last season this wa it was like some more whispers. Uh, I cannot craft because I don't have bite berries, right? So 
I probably want to, like, collect some... Well, I don't need to collect bite berries. Actually, I can just uh, go to the Tree of Whispers. That's hopefully going to drop some. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it's exactly like last season. Every hour, there's going to be a new one spawning. And it gets, like, the Whisper events on it. And that's going to be it. So, you know, once every hour, you can farm the Whispers. Or once every two hours, if you don't want to spend too much time. You just click the Whispers and um, you get, like, your um, stuff here. Uh, whatever, do, whatever I want, like guards. So let's hope there we get bite berries in here. Uh, one, just one. Oh, this is depressing. Let's see. Uh, oh, I already get meteor ranks. Cool stuff. Um. Anyway, so let me just um, collect some bite berries real quick. Craft some potions and go on. I don't really like this. I want to go power leveling, but it doesn't make any sense to go power leveling, be leveling because you want to have the stones and, you know, you can salvage the stones then for, um... Oh, they even drop shallots. Oh, okay, so there's even, like, uh, scorpions out here. Whatever. But this is the other thing they said, right? What do I do here? Just kill them? Okay, so it randomly spawns mobs. There seems to be plenty of these resources here. Alright, I just wanted to get bite berries. Like, is it okay for me to get them? Get a wine? So you just like go buy these things, click them, right? Then they instantly drop their core and you can just walk away, correct? Like you don't have to wait for these to like... Well, they summon the elite, I guess, but... So now you can click them again until like they respawn or something like that. But this is basically the... Where you get the elemental cores. Wanna have some bite berries, please? Can I have some bite berries, please? What is this? You. So I need nine total for two elixirs, so let's just get like two more or something like that. I have to respec at some point, but I'm too lazy right now actually. So can I click it again? Nope. There's actually quite some mob density here. Or oh, there's a construct, whatever. What is this? Beacon? Okay, that probably just spawns other ones. Why are these guys dying? Yeah. Okay, so this dropped an elemental core as well. So I guess there's these ones here, and then there's the ones which are like closed, which is what this one, but they both drop like elemental cores. Okay. Anyway. All I wanted was some bite berries here. Let's do like I'm doing this random events here. Why not? Okay, level 15 already. So, still I want... Oh, what about this guy here? It feels like there's a lot of mobs. Uh, okay, I it's it's the mini boss here. The named or whatever you call it. I don't think I have to kill this guy. I just want my bite berries. Let's start playing efficient here. Can I just get... It's 
So I will have to, um, in, in like three levels, I can respec already. I don't even want to get the enchantment right now. Like, I'm gonna be like so slow. Right. So wait for flame shield, click the thing, collect the core. I wonder if, when they start uh, dropping crazy amounts of legendaries, like they did last season. Oh, nice, 200 stuff. Go. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to click this. I just want my bite berries. What is this doing? Okay. Step on them. The, the construct, I, I don't think the construct can die. Like, it, it, it has a health bar, but I don't think it can uh, take damage at all. It's just like. I don't know. It has a health bar because. I don't know why. It just has one. Can I just have these stupid bite berries, please? What is this? Can it be so hard? Let's collect this one again. So basically, like, what this does is you can just, like, spawn an absurd amount of elites. And um, this is gonna be, like, w way stronger than uh, going dopamine tunnels. There's another one. Then you have like all these events, like... I mean, it's not that... Uh, well, we're just World Tier 1. I actually don't remember how Blood Harvest was in World Tier 1. Or World Tier 2, doesn't matter. Um, I, I don't think it was that crazy. I think it started going crazy um, from World Tier 2. Uh, World Tier 3, sorry. But I don't even want to skill, like it's... Let's see. Right. Another construct. Oh, four of them. Like these events are a little crazy, right? Like, it's a lot of mobs. Not they're like not any hard, but. Drop a bunch of blues. Actually, um, I'm gonna collect these blues because um, in my other playthroughs, I always uh, was starved by the, um, the blue uh, crafting materials. I mean, I came here, I just wanted to pick up a bite berry, but I'm like, you know, killing everything, so I guess that's kind of a win. So yeah, we'll check out like all the construct story. I would I check it in a little bit. Um, yeah, like these two here. So I can already spec firewall very soon. It's nice that we have flame shield because you know you just have to click these uh, random uh, pillars or whatever they are, and you know if you don't have like any way of you know getting uh, immortal like for a short period of time, you would actually have to like play this mechanic. So I'm kind of happy I don't have to. <laughs> I really don't want to play stuff like this, like you know. Even though I could, I would probably fail. 
So I just wait for my like uh, flame shield and do it. Pretty simple, right? I could actually click it. All right, I got my bite berries, so let's go to town. Better than cheating is choosing the correct class. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this one. What do we have? All stats, cooldown reduction. Good, I don't need hyper ranks. Alright, so... So, we can already respec. We don't need Hydra anymore. Um, how does it actually work? So, I have to take these points out. Now I can uh, distribute them to uh, maximum mana. And take the Hydra points out, and we can distribute them to... Where do they actually go? Um, they go into... Well, Fear Research is the last one. Uh, no, it's correct, Fear Research. Alright, so now we have Firewall. We actually don't need Arklish anymore at this point. Oh, I hate this respecting mechanic so bad. Respect all this stuff. Um, now I can already get into Firewall, I guess. Uh, Fireball. Take the Arklish stuff out. Uh, okay. What happened? Oh, this is new. Respect mode. I should have uh, predicted that. You know what? This is way too complicated for me. Let's just uh, do a full respec here. Now, pass cannon. I don't even know what these icons are meaning, but uh, I mean, they're probably gonna mean something. Um, but we can get vulnerable. That firewall. Power with regeneration. Firewall. These three, and we're done, right? Yes. They okay, confirm. Wonderful. They stole that from Pass of Exile, but I, in a weird way. Okay, so now we're gonna unbind mouse one, right? Very important story. Unbind mouse one. Best decision you can ever make in your whole life. Oh. Let's have a look at this. So let's g give him the upgrade because it just gives you like um, XP. So now let's do the enchantment quest real quick here and get our potions. So why can't I just make one? Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna find new bite berries here. Um, Chat my quest, let's go. Any like uh, seasonal stuff I forgot? Nope. Let's go. So there's probably gonna be like a gazillion people um, in those um, whatever blood harvest is now called whatever areas very soon. Like right now, they're like kind of. Oh, I have to, by the way, look for bite berries. To bite berries. Um, come on, give me bite berries here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there, there is a reset all button, but there's this new respec mode because you know, um, before like you have to do this like you know unbind these skills so you can keep like the uh, required skill points and stuff like that, and now they added the respec mode where you can actually just you know um, change the skills however you want, and it actually does the check for like the um, the required skills after that, so that's why they added the respec mode. I don't even want to do this quest anymore. 
Um, so, I guess you don't have to farm any aspects because my assumption is the um, the whatever blood harvest events, whatever they are called, they're gonna drop all your aspects later. So don't even waste your time farming aspects. Like, I'm pretty sure they're gonna just drop like a gazillion uh, legendaries as soon as you're there. So don't worry about it. Um, I'm gonna look at this right now. But we have uh, focus fire. I think. Oh, okay, I can take the second one, right? And whatever. Like, I'm just gonna put in all I have. Okay, this is governing stone, so I have to go. To yeah, so you get the governing stones first, it seems. I only have two tuning stones. Uh, whatever. You know, I'm just gonna give one to each here. Um, don't forget to drink your potions. I think I'm just gonna run through here. I don't think it's like worth spending time in this dungeon. The mobs are like way harder than the mobs outside it seems, so why would I even do this? So you can see with the firewall build we already have like infinite mana at this point. Um, and that's pretty much the only early build, well other than Arklash obviously. Um, where you will not have any mana issues, and mana issues is basically what's holding you back at Sorceress at the very beginning, so... I know there's like people posting like Chain Lightning leveling builds, but please don't play Chain Lightning as a leveling build, it doesn't work at all. It's like, terrible leveling build. I'm just gonna be out of mana all the time. So Firewall is pretty much the only leveling build there is, I have to say, and Arklash. But Firewall is like much more AoE than Arklash. And you just can walk, like, you, you, you know, you don't have to um, stand still and kill mobs. You can just walk. They're gonna die, like, eventually. Oh, this is... Oh, almost. That was almost it. Um, so, yeah. Let's just find the enchantment thing. I mean, actually, sometimes, like, you know, you you don't find the enchantment thing, like, unless you, uh, until you can, like, finish the dungeon anyway. But if you find it, like, early enough, I wouldn't finish this dungeon. It only gives you, like, a weak aspect you don't need anyway. But, you know... Oh, Butcher? That one is gonna kill me. Is he gonna kill me? I think he's gonna kill me. Let's try. We can brute force a little bit because there's a shrine here. No, he's absolutely gonna kill me. I'm out of here. Oh, he just grabbed my construct. <laughs> I hate that they place Butcher in these early dungeons. It's so unnecessary. He grabbed my construct again, that's kind of funny. Can I just have my flame shield up so I can pick up this uh, item? What? I don't have it? I swear I picked it up. I really don't want to play with this butcher here. Okay, he's gone. Thank you very much. <laughs> Finally. So again, um, if you really want to, um, you can pick up these blue items in the very beginning. I'm not sure if it's going to help um, or not, but you know, if you're going to town anyway, um, you might as well do it because you're going to be starved in the blue... Crafting materials. 
I still haven't found like this stupid thing for you. I'm gonna finish the dungeon. Worst case scenario here. But you know, who cares actually. Oh nice, they put an icon on the firewall where it now says um, how many active firewalls you have. I don't think that has been there before. That's new. Alright, we're gonna find the codex thing. Where is it? And almost everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, no. I'm sure I'm gonna find this book in like the very very last corner of this dungeon. Oh. So I guess it kind of like stun it kind of taunts and tanks the mobs. So, I mean, you know, it, it does help, kind of, a little bit in the very beginning. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to worry about aspects because, well, I mean, it hasn't been like this in the first season, but it has been like this in the second season. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if it drops legendaries like crazy yet. <laughs> we will see. It will probably start like a little bit later, but just with the with the overworld farming, right? There's going to be multiple people all the time, so you really are not forced to like, you know, play a particularly strong build in the early game because you know there's anyway going to be like ten people doing the damage, so you don't have to do it by yourself. So not a big deal. That's why. <laughs> yeah, if I if I got the um, if I found the shrine with the butcher, but anyway, like the, uh, at this uh, level, the butcher is not even gonna drop a legendary, so like it's it's just pure annoying. Go. Getting out to put all these skill points, it just goes so fast. Um, so you want to go into like um, warms. Um, I guess standing still, I don't need it at this point. Right, let's go. Looks like some of these pages are damaged. So it just levels way too fast. Like you don't like skilling is like so. I don't know. You're gonna be like level forty in like no time. Yeah, I, call to you I don't care about the butcher. Divine and infernal powers that you would hear us and obey. That should do it. You have to take a firm hand in the spirits. So what is the tuning st governing stone? Uh, uh, we have protect. Wrong. No. I could swear I dropped more than two of these. Maybe one already leveled up. I feel like I'm missing a skill. What skill would I have right now? Ice armor? I don't play ice armor. I don't even know. Chrono. Anyhow, so this is going to be it. Get our enchantment slot. Fireball, let's go. So, go back to K-Town real quick, get the other um, elixirs, and then we go into farming mode. Really nothing we need to like check out at this point, like the quest. 
I mean, I don't think it like makes sense to like continue in the quest right now. But I might as well, you know, I might as well do it. Just for science. Right, so let's so let's craft our fixes here. Alright, let's go there for science. Maybe we get something interesting. I mean, we don't really have to do mindless power leveling at this point. I might just as well like finish the quest line now, real quick. I don't think we're gonna get anything at this point because we have the construct and we can already like you know do the events. So what are we gonna do here? Find a way into the vault of copper. I don't know. So, like, the Construct is, like, somewhere fighting stuff, and which is kind of annoying. Maybe I should remove this Taunt ability from it. Got the rest in the very beginning, I guess. Yeah, I definitely want to remove the taunt from the from the construct. It's annoying. Super annoying. Um let's see. It just pulls mob away mobs away from you and that's like I don't want that in the beginning. Yeah, I have to like find like a second way I can actually respect it. So, we don't want, uh, oh, I don't even, oh, okay, so it's mockery support, right? So, I don't have any other ones. I'm just gonna have none. New dungeon, okay, let's look if this is a potential power leveling dungeon. Most likely it's not, but, you know, let's still check it. Why is it so dark? I cannot see anything. I'm actually just putting a point to Inferno now. Even though in the very beginning Inferno is like such a long cooldown, but you know, there's like quite a few elites in here. So it might come in handy. Yeah, much better without the mockery support. So I highly recommend uh, taking the mockery support out at the very beginning. Really not good. Just puts mobs away from you, you don't want to have that. Okay, whoa, 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 this actually did damage, but it's laggy. So I guess, like, this vault, you want to open the chest. Like, monster-wise, it doesn't really look so interesting to me, actually. Like, it's, like, way less uh, mob density than outside. 
And it seems like everything we need is dropping outside, so you probably don't need to do these vaults in the very beginning at all. Not sure if they, like, you know, get important at some point. They probably will. I unbound my uh, mouse one because um, there's no click to move and if I have a skill on mouse one um, I cannot move because well I, I mean I have to concentrate um, where I actually click and I don't really like that so that's why I unbind it so I can just you know left click into mobs and move so it's re really really helpful because if you have a skill uh, there, even if it's on cooldown, it's gonna, um, it's not gonna move. So it's a pretty big, uh, big deal actually. Like if you have a controller, um, it doesn't matter. It's just for PC. Because controller has its own like uh, move uh, thing. I actually want to try the um, WASD. Um, uh, controls, but I don't think I'm gonna do this right now. Crucial object is missing. Well, let's go find it. So it, it's more like if you, like, for example, if you go into like domain tunnels, um, the mob is, uh, the, the ground is pretty much scattered with mobs, like, there's everywhere, like, and no matter where you click, you're not gonna really move, so you really have to target the ground where there's no monsters and that it just feels like a stupid process yeah exactly the same in uh, v2 resurrected so um in path of exile they did it differently like if the skill is on cooldown you will just move <laughs> in uh d4 it's gonna tell you well the skill is on cooldown oh nice a lot of gold is there more chests here? Nope, doesn't look like it. So this is the very, very uh, dangerous room. <laughs> I don't like, I mean, I, I don't like the idea with the traps. It's, I, I don't know, I don't really like it. I feel like I don't want to dodge traps. Not my thing. So this is like the final trap room here, right? How, how did they call it? Like the Uber room? So why doesn't it open? Do we have to kill the guys? Can just go into the middle? Probably, right? Yeah. Okay, so there's like random shots firing. Alright, so this is the treasure room. Let's go. Ah, oh, rares and a stone, nice. Is it another mockery stone? I already have that. Yeah, but but there's no points at this point, so we like this probably gun like it comes later. Like right now, where we're still doing the quest, um, it is the mechanic is not in yet. But now we have like the the jewel and everything, so um, the. Where's the other guy, by the way? It should be like one which does the stones. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna read it. Wanna use this thing? Can't I? No. Using Brazer in the... Well, why can't I do it? I wanna click it. Can't I? No. Maybe I have to go here. Yeah, whatever. Maybe it doesn't work yet. It's firewall. Let's go. <laughs> um, well, I guess I cannot use this for whatever reason. 
upgrade the Seneschal using the Brazier in the Gate Hall. The Gate Hall and this is the Brazier, but I cannot upgrade it. Do anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm just gonna put like a random stone in? Is that it? No. Well, let's just go outside and do other stuff. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna do. We're gonna go... Wait. What's this? This is where I am. So there's no uh, seasonal event right now? Really? So they are not all the time? Okay. So this is confusing. Uh, by the way, I want to check the new aspect. Um, is it a seasonal reward? Can I see this? Season journey, right? Ground, ground. Shredding blades. Okay, this is a new one, by the way, so I get it for free. How was it called? Uh... Uh, adaptability utility aspect adaptability there so isn't this the icon for the resource aspect by the way so they said it's utility aspect but this icon is resource aspect right <laughs> um anyway so you get it for the season journey and it's 40 percent x nice 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 um yeah so what am i gonna do now do I, have, do I have to go out here to see? I'm really confused. I cannot upgrade this. And I cannot see anything outside anymore. What do I do I have to go domain tunnels now or what? Maybe do I see the events now? Ah, okay. Ah, I get it. So you only see like the the um, the tremor icon, but you don't see the um, the little icons on the map, and that's why I thought there was none. So I guess we just gotta farm. I gotta find some people here. It's just one. I need more guys than one. Guess it's gonna be stupid farming now. Oh, we run from... Thing. I hate that you don't see them on the map. Oh, there's a boss. Whatever that is, it has a special icon, so... Watchman Construct. Or again, something special. Let's see. Well, dropped an elemental core, like... So, basically there's something special, but what's special about it is that it drops the same thing all the other things drop. There's just crazy amounts of mobs here, right? So this is just like stupid power leveling, really. That's what you do. It's exactly the same than Blood Tide was. Just like a little bit of a different theme. Yeah, but I thought I, I you know, I might be able to like go into dungeons or something like that, like do something more interesting than this. But I guess no. Let's just find the biggest stack of mob. Kill it. But there's like so little people here. I wanna like find somewhere where there's more people. This is new, I haven't seen this one yet. So is, is this the same they had in the 
um, blood tide. Like, basically, it, you click on it and it spawns mobs. But this one, instead of um, leeching life from you, is just uh, spawning, like, these ice waves. So they just, like, switched it out, like, for, like... It, it is exactly the same thing. Like, you see, like, how they reuse, like, everything they used before. And they just, you know, give it a little twist, but they don't really want to make something new. Like, I mean, it's great for me. Like, you know, this... I can just stay in here, like, forever. It looks like... Like, does it ever end? Does it get, like, stronger? Or can I just farm this, like, forever now? Because I... Because I have the um, life regeneration from uh, nearby burning enemies, which... Okay, never mind, it ended. It's with three huge elites. Oh. Already click this one. Oh, another one, nice. So I guess you gotta search for these things here, like these are going to be the leveling. gonna spawn like so many mobs we are like firewall already like is like so nice <laughs> perfect build i don't even know where my construct is i can't even see it it's somewhere in the middle it's annoying that it's pushing you out you have to be careful you don't get pushed out early so you want to spawn the three big guys at the very end, definitely. There we are. We got some rares here. Alright, so we wanna get to like the. What's wrong? Brazier. This is just so overlorded. And wait to do nightmare dungeons. <laughs> so. I want to have a conjuration build as soon as possible, actually, because I just want to, like, stand in the middle and spam conjurations. Like, I have to click so many times, that's, like, not good. Like, unstable currents, conjurations with uh, a lot of cooldown reduction will probably be much more enjoyable than this. So how do I find this brazier? Brazier, whatever it's called. I think I can see these on the map as little white dots. I wonder if I want to go to a different uh, event where more people are. I don't really feel my weapon hasn't been upgraded in like 15 levels, but I'm already like uh, ready for key passives for like, I guess a long time. Uh, no, I'm actually getting yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Armor cost reduction, I don't really care at all. Get key passive. Bastion. Fine. Okay, so yeah, you see these as little dots if you zoom in. So, still wondering if I should go to the other event. I think this one has more um, people farming it. I'm just gonna go there real quick. Because I really want to farm these bosses. I want to get the governing stones as early as possible. Since I cannot continue this quest for whatever reason, I'm probably just gonna go back in there. Like, I don't know, sometime. 
Movement speed is here. Alright, oh, other way. So let's see if there's more going on. When does the world boss spawn? Five minutes. You think you can do the world boss in world tier one? Well, is it level 40? Definitely gonna try. Right, so let's see if there's more people here. It might be level lock, but it doesn't say that it is. I don't know. Maybe you just need to farm some cores. I mean, I didn't read the, the story, so maybe he just said, hey, please get me like, you know, 15 of these stones and then you can, you know, craft. Who knows? I guess nobody here. I think my construct is literally not doing any damage anyway, so it's already like completely falling off. Just like does some single target damage, but you know, who cares? Right, so yeah, the... it's like so scattered. This event is like worse than the one. In K-Town. I think I'm gonna go back. I like the other one. Sometimes they spawn the elites. I don't even know if you have to kill these. I don't think they can drop anything special. Okay, so this... I don't know, like, I got a feeling like this has the pressure plates and the other one had the... The, uh, the obelisks or pillars or whatever you want to call them. I'm not sure. Might be wrong then. Oh, there's nobody here as well. I'm going back to the um, one with fractured peaks. Just hurt a little bit. I don't know, work was that's still like one minute fifty five seconds. Do we have enough time? I don't know if, like, um, the world boss can be killed on this level. We'll see. I don't have any more mana. This. So these Brazier guys always drop like a governing stone. Let's go work out real quick. Oh, it's actually far away. <laughs> Hope can make it in time. I 
I don't remember the level of the world boss in the in the world tier two. Yeah, but he has a minimum level, I believe. Oh, slow. What? This was not good. How did it dismount me? Oh my god, I'm gonna be too late, am I? Well, actually, I'm not gonna be too late. They're not gonna kill it instantly. This is like the first world boss. See, level 35. So the world boss has a minimum level of 35. And as you can see, all these guys here are like level 10. So this is probably not gonna die. Yeah, it's not gonna die. I'm leaving right now. Pointless. Bye bye. That's the stupid thing, right? Like they should, it should be gated because if people were like twenty five and plus, it wouldn't be an issue. But you know, there's just like literally level tens which have like no clue what they're doing, so like. There's really no point. Um, there's actually more. So. Should I like play the ones which have events? That's just this one here. It doesn't really do that at all. Well, I might as well do it. It's like two. But that was like pre. Like, I saw that would happen. So the next world boss is probably going to be killable. But it has been exactly the same like last time and it's like stupid because like, you know, why do people even go there um, at that level? Um, because you just destroy like the fun for other ones. So it shouldn't let you in there in the first place, I think. I mean, not that the first world boss is like a huge loss, but you know, like people playing in groups of four um, are going to have the world boss done. But yeah, it's not gonna drop anything uh, like major in like, this uh, early tier anyway. I don't think it's even worth killing the single elites. It takes like a long time. They dodge firewalls. I'm probably gonna stop doing this. So, you probably wanna do the braziest. Okay, so you can see the running event. It's the. Um, on the map, but I'm not gonna get there in time anyway, so... Is it so annoying? Like, how are you supposed to do this without? Teleport in, like, real quick? Can't even click it, like, the UI is so bad. Whatever. I guess it has been clicked. I don't know, I, I, I like the, the area in Fractured Peaks more. I'm gonna go back there. This is like so weird, like the, the, the UI graphics. With random things like opening and closing. I uh, should back into the uh, mana cost reduction when standing still. And I have mana issues here. 
We'll do that in a second. Wanted to click this one. Yeah, this helps. So these are running out of the firewalls all the time. It's pretty annoying, actually. But yeah, this will be very fast leveling, I guess. But the boss is kind of hurt. I'm like all alone here. Which is annoying because, you know, these events are not really made to be uh, done um, alone. But there just seems to be nobody here. I'll run out of potions soon. I'm gonna take this somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm getting it. But yeah, this, like, if you're alone, these things are not easy. at this stage of the game that's why you know i'm trying to find an area where there's other people just beneficial already active like the ui feedback is terrible it doesn't give you like a, you know like a screen shake or like a you know a little lightning nova or something that you actually see that it's activated it wasn't activated it's okay. i have no potions this is probably not the best idea we have to play this mechanic now i mean it's not that difficult but and the frost one was way uh, doing way less damage. These definitely give the most XP here. I 
this is always like this. Like if you're approaching like the, the level 30s, um, you're always gonna have like um, some kind of a weak, uh, you know, period because you're not having any aspects um, or anything on. And um, it's always gonna be like this, right? So these builds, like these sorceress builds especially, they, they fall off a little bit in this range. It's normal. Okay, that's the frost one again, which doesn't do any damage. For whatever reason. Maybe I have frost resistance, who knows. It's annoying it like I get the range mobs here. Really my build's not that great against range. I wanna have like stuff run to me because I wanna regenerate and I wanna No, I don't wanna aim at these range guys. It's like not so great. But yeah, they all, like you can see already, there's like mad loot dropping. So absolutely inflated. And I'm reaching like level 30, so legendaries are going to be dropping soon. Then we're gonna pick up some aspects and then it's gonna get better. Stuff. Which is nice. I wanna keep the firewall one here. Yes. Thanks, willpower. Who cares? Intelligence armor. Oh, the one with firewall here, right? Intelligence. A ring. Oh, good like this. Maybe I got movement boots here. Ones maybe. But mana cost reduction is great. That. How do we have cannibals? I want to get to town like at some point. I want to do this brazier event. It takes too long for me alone. So these take quite a while to respawn. So I just want to finish these cannibals here. Then hopefully the next uh, quests are going to spawn soon. Maybe I should already like um, upgrade my construct. Maybe I can do this already. Swamp song. Nice. So let's go for the brazier here. If there's a friend, why not? <laughs> but level 28, I guess we have already the um, thing to claim now. What is it? Uh, how do you claim this? No, it's not you. It's blessing. Ah, 28? I'm level 28. Okay, so I guess I haven't unlocked enough seasonal stuff.
So can the next guy... Wow. These Arcan guys, like, they, they really hit... I think it's all of them. I haven't seen a different one than these enchanted guys here. They, they hit hard. Have to be a little bit careful, actually. Because I upgraded. So are they gonna drop the next one instantly? I hope. How long does it be? Yeah, nice. So they can drop the next one. Okay, they can. Oh. Why are they going away? Could already like do the next one here. I think people still they they need to understand how it works that you just you know spam the uh, the brazier thing. But maybe they just wait for me to burn my resources here. Yes. Eventually they're gonna return. Cheap fuckers. This is so cheap. Now I have to invest all my stuff. So annoying. But yeah, so you have to kind of do this for like an extended period of time to get like your stones upgraded, I guess. Look at these cheap guys, like... What is this? How can you be so cheap? Like, they don't have the resources, that's bullshit. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna save these for the next world here. Honestly. I'm almost there anyway. Okay, so... So now they take like, what, 15... Oh, it's so annoying that these stones dismount you. So now they do it, like after I'm away. Really? Just gave you two free runs, and that's what you give me. Having to move all the way back to you guys. To get my governing stone. I wonder if I can continue the quest line already. So yeah, these are always lightning enchanted, by the way. Seems like. Boots, boots, boots. No movement speed thing. Uh, Alright, so we get our enchantment slot. Let's get firewall enchantment here. Do we have here? Still get the pre inferno thing. So let's see if there's any. See, there's the new event. So I'm gonna there. There's gonna be like the the parties going on where the events are. I have to like clean my inventory. So, do I still have a potion? You know where to find it. Right, let's go. So where the, like, generally you want to go where the events are, because there's going to be a lot of players, and you don't even have to worry about these events. Like, just go where the events are, so you can um, take advantage of other players summoning these bosses for you. If you have, like, a good group there, you're gonna, you're gonna be fairly efficient. So, we just want to check out these uh, brazers here.
It's already done. <laughs> but yeah, like you drop a lot of these things here. Just want to get through like these fence stones here. Nice. Oh, this is a different one. I haven't seen this one. It has like... Oh, is that? Okay, I'm confused. Anyway. See, like as soon as you reach level 30, there's like legendaries dropping. Oh, nice. In speed when moving away from chilled enemies. It's good that I can't chill enemies. Okay, there's back. Just click this. Yes, no. How are you supposed to click this? Just try 15 times and <laughs> eventually it's gonna work. But why is nobody here? I would expect like a lot of people farming here. I have to say, like, this is not very interesting at all. Like, it's literally blood harvest all over again. But yeah, like it's not gonna take too long to level to like Nightmare Dungeons. That's like the good story. Oh. Ah, okay, so apparently this still works. <laughs> so there, there's a leveling group here. So, as you can see, I can just pick up all random stuff which they have like farmed within the like four governing stones. So I'm just gonna like, you know, go do this group here. That's alright. How much time do I have to finish these? A full hour. Yeah, it's the lowest effort. They just basically changed some textures textures around and renamed some stuff. Um, you know, it's just different drops, but it's literally like the same thing. Like, very, very little changes. No different idea whatsoever. Like, just the, the seam of the monsters obviously is different, but that's going to be it. Do we have anything interesting here? Total armor. You know, movement speed boots. I don't even care about all these things. So yeah, we're just gonna stand here and power level. <laughs> if Blizzard... If, if that's what Blizzard wants. Like, nobody's even gonna enter these walls. Maybe nobody is even gonna enter these walls until, like... You have to get, like, the... Unique stones. Because I don't really see any reason... To enter these walls at all. At this point. You're gonna get all your stones outside here. And you're gonna get way more XP. I'm gonna farm the materials, I guess. Put 
let's go to this one here real quick. Or like it, it is really like exactly the same like last time, right? Like there's literally no difference. Like nobody's even playing this wave. Like there's a wave of darkness like directly below this brazier, and nobody's even playing it. <laughs> let's do another one. I mean, the, the, the legendary drop rate isn't so high, I feel like, but I think last season that started in World Tier 3 with the cra crazy legendary drop rates. So we'll want to get to like World Tier 3 as fast as possible. Not gonna take long, like we're almost level 40. At this point you could even go like for like level 35 capstone, I guess, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to struggle. Okay, freeze me. Don't like me anymore. That's I feel like it. I also don't understand. Sometimes they are grey and you can click them, and sometimes they are grey and you can't click them. Didn't really figure out what's the deal with that. So, do we have anything new? Well, I guess the supports, like, they don't drop here. I think the supports drop uh, in the uh, dungeons and the other ones are um, dropping outside here. I think that's the story. But I think like there's like you can uh, craft chests which contain a random one. So maybe you can get those supports through them. You have to check out. We go to like this little town and like a little bit the oh there's somebody doing big damage it's definitely not me <laughs> hmm. where's the gun oh he's dead Does he think I will revive him now? Really? What a jerk. You can't take it. So this is a different one. You kill it and then something happens. What? Let's 
strange. You never know if you clicked it or not. So strange. Well, it takes like just a long time to reset. Maybe you need to reset like the instance or the layer where you are. Not sure actually. But yeah, in Blood Harvest, these were just chests, right? You would click the chests, and then there was the the chests would drop the uh, whatever it was called. I don't remember, Vampiric, whatever. And then you can click the the little shrines and the big shrines. So the only difference right now is there's no little shrines, and the chests are like a little different, but still they are chests with like a random effect. So that's the changes here, basically. <laughs> But yeah, like the mob density is it's already starting to lag, I guess. You kind of hit like like a level threshold or whatever and then you know you get more mobs spawning. And now they are already lagging out. I wonder do we have like some wrong loot settings here? Don't kill me, please. Right, so let's pick it again. Push to show. This is so laggy. Pretty annoying. I don't even know what's happening. I'm full, I get it. Put here stuff. Whatever. Movement speed boost, finally. But we need a movement speed emulate now. out our inventory real quick here then go on the mindless grind
So should can I like actually get like the uh finally so I can get at least some extra XP here. And let's just go back where we came from. The stupid XP should just automatically unlock. There was like a boss. I, I saw a boss icon. Hey, this is like someone new. We haven't seen this guy yet. So this is like the big boss. Is he gonna drop like anything good? So I, I assume this is like a random boss just spawning. Wait, crazy. Oh. We haven't seen this in the in the footage, I guess. This, this is like a new boss. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a new boss which actually hits. Come on, revive me. Oh, I guess no. I already see like billions of dead hardcore players being like smashed by this guy. This one is really beefy. I wonder if my construct is even there. I cannot see this guy. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Definitely funny. I want to activate this. This is doing something here. Just kill this. I wonder how long have people been like hitting this guy until he got like to this low HP where he is right now. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's anything new, right? It's like, uh, how is it called? This is the uh, the dungeon boss. I don't remember. Like the difference is it doesn't do like the fire breath. In the dungeon, it does the fire breath. Is it the, the, the scorch of the land, right? It's like exactly the same boss without the fire breath. But it hits, like this, this this guy like actually does damage. And he has like a trillion HP really. He refuses to die. <laughs> He's better gonna drop something. Like I don't wanna wait be wasting my time like for nothing. I bet he drops nothing. Like four rares and one legendary. I, like I say, four rares, one legendary, one governing stone. That's what he's gonna drop. Oh, I made it again. It really doesn't look like it's killing you. Like the first two hits, like are all right, and the third hit actually, the, the third hit is actually killing you. <laughs> Yeah, he looks like, well, it's a different boss, but it's, I guess it's the same concept. Let's see if he actually drops something. Like, there's a bunch of mobs spawning right now. So, I don't know if that's, like, part of the boss fight. Oh, come on. Didn't even see that hitting me. Okay, so there's... Oh, just one legendary, that's it. <laughs> what a stupid way... Like, why would you do that? Like, just put, like, this... I can't believe it. Like, such a waste of time. He drops less than a regular elite. I don't understand these blizzard guys like why would you do this why would you place a random boss 
give it like a trillion HP, make it an actual hard fight, and then have it drop like one legendary. Not even like a governing stone or something for your construct, nothing. Just... It's... I don't know. I don't, I don't get these kind of things. Like, what is going on in your mind if you do like... Oh yeah, let's place a huge boss in there, but you know... Nah, it doesn't have to drop any loot. Like, we're not doing that stuff. We're just gonna place this stupid huge boss there and not gonna have it drop anything because we can. <laughs> uh. What's wrong with people? Like, imagine the game designer, like, who's responsible for this boss. Like, w like what is his job? Like, he's like, oh well... You know, we're just gonna take like a boss from a dungeon, then we randomly remove one ability. But he doesn't drop anything, like, we just place it there. <laughs> oh. Drives me crazy. Oh, Channeling Incinerate, Burning Damage, whatever. What do we else we have? Uh, ice Armor makes me unstoppable. Well, I don't have Ice Armor. Maybe I should spec it. 17 end, I take this one. Alright, let's... No, I, I can't get Ice Armor. I want to keep my click moved, actually. I don't need Ice Armor. Just kill like these random conduit pylons here. I don't even know what this one did. Like this there seems to like these 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 conduit pylons which you actually have to kill, they literally don't drop anything. <laughs> and these chests just spawn like two super slow wave of mobs and then one elite. Like, it's all very static. But I mean, I already dropped like four legendaries like at this stage, right? So, um, I guess it's safe to assume that we don't need to farm any like aspects in dungeons at all. There you are, we can go capstone soon. I'm gonna be fast. I wonder if I start like doing the quest or I probably don't even care at this point. Like this construct is not doing anything for me right now. Just there, like doing random damage, but I don't think it has like any kind of meaning at this point. Because you don't have the support gems, like you only have two support gems at this point. The other gems, like I don't think they matter at all. Like, I mean, I could change them, but, you know, why would I? Without the support gems, they are going to be weak no matter what. So you basically just run from... Uh from uh, like these white things on the map to the next one, these are going to be the best ones um, to do. Seems like they drop, they get, give you like more mobs than the uh, these other pillars, like which actually have like the traps inside. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing these like these. Uh, these randomly placed event things, they seem to be like way uh, superior. These are special guys, I feel like. These do more damage than the other ones. See, like, whenever these things appear on the map, you're gonna go there, finish these, 
They're gonna spawn the mobs. They're gonna drop the stone. You don't want to do the other ones. It doesn't seem like a good thing to do. These things seem to be way more superior. Spawn like three waves of mobs. Then a elite. I wish I could even like keep uh, picking up where ass at this point. Probably not worth my time anymore. Yeah, so just run here, find the these things. Activate them. Seems to be the way to go. This actually froze me. Oh. Well, they, I mean, they, they kind of start dealing damage at this point. But maybe I want to go for ice armor. I mean, I think I have like six skill points anyway. Maybe you should spend some of my skill points. Um, so that's so. Oh, I have plus defensive amulets. So let's just do ice armor here. And let's just do some other stuff we can do. Elemental uh, dominance. Well, maybe I can max out fireball here. And maybe I can. Well, devouring blaze. I don't need it at this point. I'm not doing any direct damage. Oh, so these these things here don't do anything basically. You can just kill them, but nothing will happen. At least that's what it is. Just like they don't drop core. This thing. How do they start an event? Oh, nothing happens. <laughs> These things are the great ones. These little chests. Yeah, you know, the reskinning will continue. Let's just face it at this point. They, they haven't shown like any initiative to work on the core game mechanics to this point, so they probably just, they, they want to like basically buy time for the expansion. That's what it feels like. They probably have been already working for like a year on the expansion. They might have even been working um, on the expansion before this game even released. And I think at this point they're buying time um, for the expansion. Um, they want to like, you know, get the bank for the expansion. They want to fix a lot of stuff in the expansion. But, um... Well, they probably don't want to, like, implement so much stuff before. Because if you're, like, in a development cycle, um, you don't want to change, um, like, you like you basically have, like, two different versions of the game, right? You have one team which is working on the expansion version of the game, and you have one team which is working on the, you know, the, let's call it, like, vanilla version of the game. And these, if, the more these drift, like, out of, like away from each other the more um, difficult it gets to like um, combine them at the very end so that's like if you have like such a so short development uh, circle like where the expansion comes in pretty much like one year after um, you don't want to change the base game at all and that's what they are doing yeah they say yeah okay we do like a little itemization changing um, but they don't touch the base game they want to keep the base game so they can basically then you know apply the base game updates when the expansion hits. And I don't think it's like such a bad thing. Like I, I guess everybody accepted by now. Um, latest with this season, like which has been such a huge announcement and everything, but but we can already see like literally like nothing changed, right? Like we, we yes, we haven't seen the vaults, but uh, besides that, you know, there's not going to be anything new. Like we already see it. Like we have a random overworld event. We have a random quest line. We have a random follower. And we're gonna have the vaults. And I don't think the vaults are gonna be any special. Like, probably not. Um, do we have anything? Yeah. I wanna have like fire resistance for. Um... Oh no, that was actually Elias, right? Yeah. I don't... Fire damage over time. I don't care. 
So we want to have movement speed amulet. We want to have movement speed boots. Um, other than that, we just want to have like maximum armor, basically. Well, fire damage on a ring is not bad, right? Or two ranks of firewall pants. I like that. The other stuff. Don't care about it. I hate, like, I already hate looking at the gear. Like, I don't want to do it. Not fun. <laughs> okay, I already have, like, a lot of resources, I guess, at this point. So let's upgrade our potion. I want to craft some new elixirs here. Why does it tell me it have something new? Like, I'm not going to choose any of these skills anyway. Um, right. So I have no bite berries, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. I need new bite berries. the random event again which doesn't do anything oh i'm clicking the wrong hotkey by the way because i changed from mouse 2 to mouse 1 so. um let me just you know turn in this uh fear of whispers maybe i can get some bite berries <laughs> Bite Barrier's freaking bottleneck here. Didn't I upgrade my potion? I swear I could. I, I just upgraded it. It probably didn't work. Right, so what do you have? Collection of boots, I guess, right? You want boots. Yeah. More movement speed, 5.5. .5. We have 5.5. Now we have 6, right? Yeah. Who cares, actually? It's alright. Uh, let's see what we're gonna do. Oh, it's laggy. I can actually still finish these events here. It wouldn't be so laggy. I thought I could, but I can't. It's white on the map. Okay, now I can click it. But it's basically impossible with this lag without flame shield. I don't I don't know what other classes are doing here. So what else do I have to do? Do I have to finish these? Like, these are definitely the best ones here. But the construct, like, literally does nothing. Like, it's there, but it does nothing hits for like 99 like every four seconds or something like that so literally not doing anything
I'm gonna start picking up specific gear from now. Just amulets, rings, and uh, gonna weapons and boots, I guess. Like, like the last one always drops the elemental core, like stink. So yeah, just like you just wander the map. Oh, treasure goblin! I kill them. This stage of the game, I guess it's okay. Kill a treasure goblin. Gives you a free legendary. And catch him with firewall. Not so easy. pick up bite berries there was something <laughs> i remember but what do i have to do here uh look for obelisks okay there you go okay i found something what the obelisk is there for finish the event uh, finish the uh, whisper did it even work like, like, what is this wasp? Like, this is instantly running out of my um, inferno to attack my stupid construct? <laughs> Come on. This is like, can I deactivate this construct? Really, it's like not beneficial. It's just like doing harm. I guess I can unequip the skills probably. And then it's not gonna. No, it's probably still gonna full aggro. I don't know, so far, like, Construct in this early leveling phase is completely useless. You can completely ignore it. It doesn't do anything at all. Maybe it gets, like, any meaningful later, but my assumption is it's just gonna be, like, you know, supporting you to, like, apply Burning for you and apply Chill for you so you can pick, like, Hoarfrost and Devouring Blaze and stuff like that. Oh, that's the boss. The freaky boss. I've seen this before. It's gonna drop a stone. No, it's gonna drop an elemental core, right? Yeah. Oh. oh. I should have moved out of this, but I couldn't. What happened here? So how do I finish this? Loot obelisks. Loot cores from obelisks. Okay, so it's the other obelisk which actually drops a core. This is not it, right? I guess it's the other ones. Yeah, probably, but you probably want to save these. Uh, well, my assumption is um, you only get the support stones from the walls, but you get the regular stones here in the overworld. So my assumption is later you can craft like unknown stones or something like that. And, you know, I wonder if you can also craft like unknown support stones, maybe specifically. So I'm going to save like all these resources for now um, and see if I um, can make use of them later, because it seems like... You know, the other stuff is dropping here anyway, so I don't want to waste resources now. Because there's like, that's, it's the same like in uh, last season, like at the very beginning while leveling you dropped like um, uh, all these whatever like packs and you had like, you know, hundreds of packs and they would basically last towards the end of the season. At the very end of the season I actually had to farm some new packs because I, you know, burned through all of them. And I assume it's going to be the same uh, here again, that we have to um, farm 
um, these uh, stones, and we wanna don't wanna waste them like early. Oh, I'm already level 40, by the way. So, I can go capstone. I don't have any aspects, so I might just go to like level 45 before I do capstone. Because the legendaries are dropping here anyway. So, oh, just razor here. Also, you want to probably save your elemental cores for the uh, higher difficulties. Unless. Probably uh, worth it. We will see. Oh, I have no potion left because I had no bite berries. Man, I wish there would be potions dropping here. I don't want to pick up bite berries to like craft potions. Oh, anybody here? <laughs> Why do I have to fight the big guy alone? I think it's not gonna be once every 30 seconds. I think the spells have like a cooldown of like 4 seconds or something like that. So I think it's gonna be working just fine with applying the status effects. Not sure if it's gonna do... Like unless you have the, the super unique one which... But it actually gives plus four skills for like two seconds, but I don't know how often it will activate, right? So it might not even be that great. I mean, obviously. Okay, okay so it can drop tuning stones, so I guess it uh, just uh, needed some uh, time. Like some level threshold again. So these things, I think I need to click. These are the obelisks. And I cannot find one which I can actually click. Oh, I need to get another XP potion. The problem is I'm not getting the uh, the seasonal, uh, like the um, season journey, like while doing this. Literally, like I cannot complete my season journey, which is kind of. Oh, I want to get the XP boost from there actually. So I might try to get on with the quest. I think I will do this quest line real quick. So never forget to kill the last one of these because it's gonna drop the elemental stone, whatever. See, like it's so annoying like this construct it's pulling the mobs i hate i, I already hate this like oh, this is this is really n like not beneficial it's like it's like holding me back what is this yeah i didn't click it once again okay so this is like really annoying because this is like pushing you out but yeah i hate this construct i don't like it I, I immediately decided I don't like this thing because it's pulling mobs away and it's not standing within my melee range. If it would stand in my melee range, it would be okay that it's pulling mobs away. Um, but this is like already like concerning me because, you know, we were kind of banking that we don't have to use Rainman because the Construct will pull stuff from us. But if, you know, if the Construct is like standing in a random location and not near myself, then why would I have to like... Why would I want to have it pull stuff to there? Like, I don't know. I really feel like this is not going well. Oh, I, I really want to finish this 
quest now. Better boots. Better boots. Nope. Okay. Vulnerable basic skill. They're really the same stuff. Well, this is actually a useless aspect to me, but you know, whatever. Like, let the firewall destroy missiles. This is a good aspect. I can save this. <laughs> um, so I need to click one of these to complete this quest. And I literally can't click these. Because, I don't know, I maybe clicked all of them already. I don't know. I'm gonna search like to complete this quest. This is like out of control by the way. Where do all these guys come from? Let's just find one of these things, which I can actually click. Can't be so difficult, right? This one here, maybe. Nice. <laughs> Wasn't so difficult in the end. for this stuff. Well. Okay, so I finished the events. Let me just well, let me just finish the quest line now. I'm already ready for capstone. We have anything you uh, this stuff right. Don't worry. I don't even want to see it. I don't want to look at rares. I have three skill points again. Uh, what do we have? Like anything useful we can still spec in? Defenses? Axe? I don't need these. Mental dominance? Well, let's just spec into element. Oh, well, my actually, I want to uh, get lucky. Right. So let's get rid of all the stuff here. This one we want to save. Let's just, I don't know. Alright, so... I'm gonna craft a new potion, maybe. Maybe I found some bite berries. Uh, oh, <laughs> I can't afford this stupid upgrade. <laughs> uh, whatever, I can't craft another one. Random elixir. Good enough. Uh, let's see. So what was the quest line? I have to go to this gate hall. if I can actually finish it now. Probably not, right? Nope. Can't do anything here. No clue what it is. Whatever. Don't get it. Uh, what do we have here? Focus fire. You wanna like... We have Focus Fire and Lightning Bolt. This is one of the ones I'm using, right? This looks like a... So I have one more Tuning Stone, Fortify Support. So let's just put everything in this one here. So, well, anyway, I cannot do anything here with the quest line. So I guess I'm just going to do Capstone Dungeon. <laughs> Whatever. And this at all. Their crafting bench for the seasonal stuff is also not there yet. Cannot upgrade this. Honestly, I have no clue. Not sure what it would be locked behind. But I'm just gonna do capstone. Look. I don't care. 
They don't want me to finish this quest line, I guess. So, whatever. <laughs> maybe it's just bugged. Like, I don't know. Maybe somebody wrote about, you know, you cannot continue this quest line at all because... Well, it says upgrade your thing, but you cannot upgrade it. Who knows? Maybe I gotta go to World Tier 3 to continue this. Maybe I gotta log out and log back in. Like, I don't think it's gonna matter at this point. What else you can't click on? Like, did you did, did you encounter, like, the same issue? Alright, oh, I, I, I forgot these things. But actually, I didn't prepare at all for this capstone. I didn't even put gems or anything, so let's see where it goes. But I'm level 40, it should be fine. Uh oh. Maybe I should have farmed the resources to upgrade my potion, actually. Yeah, I'm like, I'm lacking damage. I'm going back outside. This is like. Take too long. This will take too long. Not gonna do it. Not gonna have any benefit out of this. Just gonna make a couple of more levels. Upgrade my potions. I mean, I could brute force through this, but... You know, why would I do it? Let's see, is there anything interesting here? No. Just leave me alone, guys. Thanks. Okay. So I guess it's not solvable. Like... You know, it's probably just, like, at some random point. Like, either they're gonna fix it and, like, just admit that they have, like, no clue what they're doing. But, uh, yeah, you know. I'm gonna do this once. Can do, like, some objectives in here. Oh, come on. Look at... It ends in 112 days, the, uh, the Arcane Tree Moss. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you know, it's probably just bugged. Let's just face it. I'm not gonna do Capstone. Actually, I cannot collect Bite Berries as well. <laughs> it's like already being annoying, like... Uh... I don't want to, like, spend time doing capstone, like, preparing for it. I don't really want to do this. I don't even know why I do so like low damage in capstone. I mean, yes, I have no aspects, but I should do more damage. But actually, I have like a terrible weapon and I haven't upgraded in a while, so. come out of the cellar, get like an instant boss. Blast these guys in the way. I would just pick up some more rares and then, you know, do like the upgrade for the capstone. 
eventually. Maybe it's like season journey log, but they um, explicitly said in the uh, the campfires thing that these things are not like season locked anymore. I don't know. Also, I have like fortify support on my construct now. It doesn't seem like to fortify. I mean, it fortifies me once like every 10 seconds or so. It doesn't look like all that strong. Oh, Pearl of Warnings. These are for the dungeons later, right? But yeah, so far, I have to say it's like a little boring. My damage is so freaking low. He like the nerfed firewall. I don't know about that. Feels pretty much the same as last season if you ask me. I don't really feel like a difference at all. Like the seam is different. I have the Is the construct gun by no okay, it spawns after you leave the mount. Like, I have the random construct, which literally does nothing. <laughs> Other than pulling mobs away of my melee range. <laughs> and I have uh, the random overworld event, which is literally the same event like last season, just different mob type. And then, you know, let's see what is going to be the walls, right? Like, I can't enter the walls because I cannot finish the quest. So... <laughs> I guess they gotta, like, if it's a bug, they will hotfix it. Maybe it just starts in the World Tier 3 or something, but I don't really think that will be the case. So it's probably just bugged. So the stuff's getting better here. Oh, this is nice. This is the aspect I... Um, the mana regeneration aspect. It's actually great. Right, so let's see. What else can we do here? I'm not gonna do dungeon. I'm not gonna do the summoning rituals. So I want to go here. I can find some seasonal stuff in between here. Yeah, I mean, some bugs are expected, but you know, if you cannot... Um, Follow the seasonal quest to the end. Like, this is like a very weird bug, right? They must have tested this. Like, I don't know. 
Like, I, I get it if they don't test, like, the very deep stuff, but, you know, that's the stupid quest line of the season. Like, you should be able to complete this when the new season launches. Don't you think like that? Oh, these are so annoying. I hate it. These pylons which throw you from the mount. This is, like, the worst thing ever. Like, why did they do this? I can't stand stuff like this, really. Like... Yeah, I guess that's true. Anyway. Like, I'm not amused. Like, why do I have to get dismounted by these pylons? It's just not fun. Like, I, I just want to walk s somewhere and, like, I randomly encounter one of these pylons and it dismounts me and then I cannot mount for another 15 seconds. Like, does it have to be like this, really? Now, these, these pylons are just pure annoying. Like, I already made my decision. Like, this is the most annoying um, overworld mechanic they ever did. These pylons are, like, the most annoying thing ever. Like, you can't deal with it. Like, it's too annoying. Not fun. Period. I want to get out of this overworld as fast as possible. I cannot stand these pylons. Sorry, but it's, like, completely... Oh, my God. Now I don't buy a seasonal pass. Like, why would I buy this? For this? Why would I give Blizzard another 25 bucks? Or whatever it is. Like, absolutely no. You dismount me, like, these, these pylons are like... I don't even know what the idea behind this is. It's just, like, pure annoying. Like, there's li literally... Like, there's nothing even remotely fun about these pylons. Like, I don't know... Whatever you, like, will be thinking about these pylons, like, whoever developed these things, like, you, you, you cannot possibly imagine that there's anything funny about these, like, anything which is, like, enjoyable. It's just stupid, annoying mechanic. You have to click a pylon, like, literally, that's what you do. You have to click a pylon, and it's gonna drop a thing. Period. End of mechanic. Like, literally, that's what it is. The damage of the pylon doesn't matter at all. It doesn't do any damage whatsoever. So it's just like an annoying thing. You have to click to get, like, this random core. And that is what it is. Like, it is not challenging. It doesn't do damage. It is just there for no reason. It's just there for the reason of being there. <laughs> this is like... Like, these things are like, just make it a pile of, like, just take the stuff off. Like, just make it a loot chest. Like, what is the difference? Like, you make it hard to click this pylon? You really think, like, players are going to enjoy this stuff, Blizzard? Oh! I can't deal with it. I really, really can't. It's like... I don't want to think about it anymore. Right. Oh, nice. Damage aspect. Let's go. Uh, other good tier? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I actually have these. These are better. Right. Other stuff. Junk. 
So now I have to collect bite berries to upgrade my potion. I guess. Um, am I missing anything skill wise? Like Lithiumin I could get, and I'll start getting this. Yeah. It is done. All right, greater collection of rings. Beautiful. Let's take it. You have here. Oh, Umbra. Uh, I don't need Umbra. So let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Nothing left. Nothing. Let's salvage all the gear and just continue. Try upgrading the potion. I gotta farm bite berries. I think it's bite berries. Um, I don't need aspect of the umbra. Uh, so let's see. What do we need? Let's go to K-Town. I want to make another try at Capstone. But my damage is just so low and I want to respec. Uh, let's see. What do we need for the upgrade on the potion? Bite berry, crushed beast bones. At least I can. Oh. Weak third eye elixir. Sounds good. Alright, let's collect some bite. So I need to get some armor like for capstone so I can just uh, face roll it. Sounds like something I would want to do. I think it's really not worth the time spending like 10 minutes or 15 minutes in there right now. I would do it at level 45 or so. Okay, what am I doing here? Cannot click this item. Oh. I feel like this. Like some kind of, like some of the nerf firewall. I don't know, I just. Damage seems like low. I should be like doing like way more damage. I don't know, like something is going on. Something fishy. I don't wanna go here. I wanna go where the events are. We have to Let's see. So the next one we get at level forty-four. Oh, I got the seasonal chapter completed. Maybe I can do the quest now. Even though they said we don't have to. Oh, nice! Bunch of tuning stones. Click this, this is going to be so much fun. Nice. Oh wow, something is doing damage here. Oh, not anymore.
I want to look at the stones I just found in this seasonal package thing. Maybe there's anything useful in there. Strike damage of fireball and that's a good aspect. I don't need it, but no. Like I don't I really I don't get it. Like what is this stone clicking mechanic? I could like rage all day because it's like so terrible. <laughs> I'm running fireball and uh, the f uh, firewall. Uh, f yeah, fireball and firewall, correct. <laughs> this is it. I should get the healing support on my construct. I think I should just take anything off it which does damage because you know the damage it does doesn't really matter so much. So maybe just get something useful. It does like a tiny bit of single target damage actually. Like it's not really noticeable so much, but it's at least it is there. Oh yeah, right, I wanted to get bite berries. I need more bite berries. Bottleneck of all bottlenecks, bite berries. But I mean, does this look like any, like, interesting to anybody here? Like, I literally just go from, like, these, from stone to stone, click it, put, like, 15 mobs, and that's going to be it. Like, pick up the core, which I will use at a later point. I don't know. And I'm searching for bite berries. Like, that's, <laughs> like, the most exciting story is probably, like, if I find a bite berry. Like a lot of pilots. I haven't seen this event. <laughs> I guess it's like no different to the other ones. Kill the pilots and nothing happens. Bite berries, please. Farming those bite berries like a boss. Oh, this is a new event. Oh, I don't care. 
There's a stone like lying at the brazier. Dismounted. Get you this. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna do capstone again at 45. Then I can hopefully upgrade my potion. Oh, the, the poison kind of hurts to get out of this. But this is like, this, this wasp is like, you know, it's out of control. Like doing heavy damage. Oh. Everywhere. Poison everywhere. Poison everywhere. The scorpions kind of get bigger. I don't even want to deal with these wasps. my plan bite berries oh God. Damage is like so low. It takes forever to kill like these elites. Gotta fix my build. Legendary. Take it. Oh, stuff, nice. Oh, minus, minus 29. It spikes. I'm gonna keep this for the blizzard switch. Good aspect. Level 45. Big berry.
So I want to check, like, if I'm level 45, I'm going to check the construct real quick. If I have any, like, new skills I can put on it, which might uh, be any meaningful. Also want to try it out. I really would like to spec to Blizzard right now. I really hope I can find the Blizzard aspects really fast. Because Blizzard is like really, really strong in these kind of, uh, you know, farming scenarios. But you need to have the um, Blizzard aspects. Hold on, cool. Let's get level 45. Then call it a day. This is the one which hurts, right? Well, actually not anymore, I guess. See, this construct, again, it's like pulling the mobs away from me. And Like, why? Yeah, I would switch to Blizzard as soon as I get the aspects. Blizzard is like a super strong early build. It doesn't require any gear and you can easily push through uh, towards Nightmare dun uh, Dungeon 100. Oh, wow. Be careful now. Oh, this construct makes me crazy. Something here. Put the pants. Down. Alright, let's go through the gear here real quick. What do we have? E freeze. Less. Um. Okay, we gonna keep this aspect as well. This one obviously we're gonna keep, it's a great aspect. So this one we're also gonna keep. Right, 122 more armor. More armor. Oh. Yeah, so... That was the chest piece. I don't really need this aspect at all. I can't ditch it. Um, this was the chest piece. No, it was. Where's the chest piece? Uh. Okay, let's just choose the ones which have life. Here. I don't maximum life ring. So this back we're gonna keep again. This one junk 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 junk, this is all junk. Am I even wearing this pen? Just because I have plus one firewall? Gonna keep the plus one firewall again. Uh, this is good. Intelligence, maximum life, right? Yeah, cannot last more here. So, life. Alright, so boots, boots, boots. Don't care, won't care. Well, right, yeah. 
Okay, so this is going to be it. Grab all this stuff. You can take what's left. Upgrade this one a little bit. Um, we need to upgrade anything else? Probably not, right? I don't need these. Grab these. This should be enough for capstone now. All right, this would be good. Oh, upgrade the potion and let's do the capstone real quick. Hope I can upgrade this potion now. What do you need? Oh, I have, I need one more gallo wine, really. Okay, which one can I use? Red of mine. As the heel says. So this one I cannot afford at all. But, you know, I guess this is what it is. Um, Elixir, I cannot afford any of these, <laughs> whatever. Just go. I don't need gems. Well, I actually have one K life, which is pretty bad. So I'm just going to make a couple of gems now. Right, so what? What can we do? Uh, rubies, chipped rubies, two. Amethyst, chipped. Do we have stuff for adding sockets? No. Good story, whatever. Or oh, did we get an aspect from the season, I think? Let's see. I'm sure you all right. Okay, so this is used. Okay, we have ice blades apply. Okay, we don't need this. This is what we have, nothing else. Wonderful. Well, should be an upper capstone. I wanted to check the construct. I have new stuff here. Right, devastation support, critical strike down, who cares? Slowing support, who cares? Efficiency support. I don't care. I don't do critical strike. Electrocution. Well, I don't care about this. Like, I don't need any of these. Arcing support. Let's do this. Uh, let's move the mockery one. So we have fortify. Arcing support. And. Well, done, whatever. So then we have, what do we have here? We have Lightning Bolt, we have Reconstruct. So this is gonna heal me. I'm gonna use Reconstruct, that sounds great. Um, so how do we like use Tuning Stones? So we can't use anyone for Reconstruct, right? Okay, Fortify. Cool. Fortify Arcing. Why, why can Reconstruct hit an additional enemy? That doesn't make any sense. Um, whatever, slowing. Let's go. This looks better, right? Just face roll. Look to where my construct is. Lost it on the way. <laughs> Didn't they? Oh, it's laggy. Didn't they say there's like any kind of good AI?
Why does it have to lag now? I'm in a dungeon. Like, I can understand it, like, lags outside, but it shouldn't lag when I'm in a dungeon. Well, the Aklish Conjuration build is not going to be an early game build. So I'm gonna use the Blizzard build to farm, like, the gear for the other builds, because the Blizzard gear build is just going to be, like, super gear independent at the very beginning. That's why I'm gonna start with Blizzard. And then I'm gonna, you know, I have to farm all the uniques for the other builds. And, you, you know, you have to start somewhere. That's why I usually use Blizzard for this. Because it's just like such a relaxed build. I hate it. I don't understand how instances can lag, but the outside does not lag. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like I couldn't like if I even if I would use the Arklish build right now, like this is this would be like extremely weak. Because you know Arklish compared to like um Firewall is just like literally doing no damage at all early. And um So you really need like the cooldown reduction um to get the um conjuration uh, synergy with the ice ice blades and everything going. So you you need like, you know, at least like mid gear uh, mid mid tier level gear, like you need cooldown reduction on all the pieces. You need some extra, like you need, like let's let's you need like three out of four pieces basically to get that going. No, it's just like crazy lag. Like I I, I don't even know what kind of lag it is. Like you can see it. Like it's I don't even know. Like, the mobs are not moving, I'm not moving. Like, it's exactly the same lag we had in AOZ with the ball lightning. So, basically, the it doesn't freeze, but, you know, it doesn't seem to... Like, nothing is really happening, but the game doesn't freeze. And then, after, like, you know, a couple of seconds, all the commands seem to be ex executed. Like, this kind of lag it is. Exactly the same lag we had in AOZ. I need more potions. See, like these. Oh, I already have everything. I think there's like a potion thing before I have to go to the boss. I hope. Yeah, there is. So I hope I can do the boss with this lag because for the boss it actually matters because you need to dodge like projectiles. This is like heavy rubber banding. It's 
starts up that you do like too many firewalls. Right. Let's hope we can beat these guys without any problems. I'm gonna kill the physician first. And there's the lag. Good thing I'm way over leveled. The other killer, like, um, water doesn't matter at all. Even though it's uh, pretty laggy, I guess it worked out in the end. This part of the dungeon I find most annoying. Because uh, there's like so many mobs which have like quite a bit of HP and you gotta like kind of gather them all. I cannot gather them because my construct is tanking them. <laughs> the boss is going to be terrible with this lag. Hope it stops. Hate this construct. This is like really annoying. The whole lag story is really bad. It used to be just for ball lightning, but it seems like firewalls are now also lagging. to pick up all the like single mobs because I cannot group them because it's too laggy. Do you want to pick up like the items in this capstone because they are um, level 50 so they can be way uh, better than um, the items you are having? You can see like this stuff uh, is unupgraded and it has like 137 more. Do you really want to um, check that out? Highly recommend it.
This is like what the part of this dungeon I hate so much because these mobs are like moving so slow and now with the construct it's like even worse because the construct is like tanking those mobs off screen so you cannot properly group them. One more. Right, the strange thing is, um, in front of this dungeon, there's not gonna be like healing potions. So, for whatever reason, um, you wanna just restock healing. No idea why it isn't here, but it is not. Also, I'm gonna upgrade my new stuff here real quick. Can't hurt, right? Ah, and you see, like blue materials bottleneck. Already said it. Like I have, you have so many rare materials. Like you have infinite amount of rare materials but you have blue materials which are bottleneck and i th i think you cannot like um actually i have never tried if you can actually trade them but i don't think you can but let me just see because you can refine resources right but i don't think it's no you can't you can silver ore no at well, least you can't so that's like what's like holding you back not like freaking get like the blue materials but you already have the rares and i i really don't think that's like i don't know what even the reason is like you should just get like you know the rares should give blues as well it is not an issue oh i actually forgot to respec here so let's see if i can do it without respec usually i respec to hydra here for Hydra enchantment because fireball enchantment doesn't really do anything but you know it doesn't seem to be an issue here. Actually, like, we get quite a bit of stagger from our construct. So this is definitely, like, usually you don't have any stagger at all with Firewall. Oh, well, it's like everything's frozen right now. Let's see what's happened. Um, but the construct actually does stagger. So I don't know if we can get this. Well, we, we will actually be able to stagger this boss with just the construct. If we survive these archers everywhere. With this huge legs here. <laughs> See now the boss is staggered just from the construct. So the construct, I guess, did something useful. <laughs> it staggered the boss. I have to kill it fast because I'm out of potions. so bad. Come on, just die, bro. No! Oh, I really thought, like, the, the wall explosion is, would kill me. Hello. Whatever. How important it is.
So what did we get? Recurrence. Crit. Well, nothing great here, but let me just keep this for now. I I, I don't want to sort through these right now. Um. So let's see if anything changes here and do the quest line. Or probably not. Oh cool, there's new seasonal quests. I don't even think we can. I'm not even trying if I can do the quest line now. Just gonna keep farming here. So at this point. Um, mobs are going to be over level, like w right when you enter world tier um, 3. You want to be a little bit careful. You can see it's like not that terrible actually. Like you're gonna be like out leveling them in like very very quickly. Now this is gonna happen a little bit in the very end until you have like sacred uh, items. This is normal. Nothing bad about this. Gonna die a couple of times. Do you want to immediately just put these on? I don't even look at them. Okay, <laughs> that went quick. I'm just going to uh, the, the quest and see if there's like other people I can leech. Probably it's not gonna be so many, but you know. Mounted. Actually, there's people. One guy. Yeah, th so this is probably something you don't want to do, like at this stage. Just want to try to get, like, you know, a little bit of the easier mobs. Like if you if you pull like huge elite packs right now, you're just gonna die instantly. That's okay. Is this gonna drop anything different in the world here? Three now? Probably not, right? Nope. Exactly the same thing. Oh, actually, it drops gold. <laughs> I don't want to search for the events. Events, I guess. Doesn't really make sense to kill like these lobos here. So not too many people in like World Tier 3 already, I guess. I think I have a new uh, seasonal um, burn or however that thing called, like 5% extra XP.
Level 44. Okay, so I don't have enough battle pass right yet. So definitely don't want to do this one yet. So why there's like there was way more of the events in like uh world tier 2 i believe i didn't find a single one actually like the random events oh there's four bosses really okay they count as bosses i don't think i'm gonna beat these <laughs> let's see let's try Like, this is also the worst mobs. I, I should definitely go to a different event. If these, uh, these wasps are, like, completely out of control. Oh. Okay. Like, the Varshan summoning material guy. Which is a suppressor that's, like, not so cool. I guess it's all right. Well, I wish I could upgrade my health potion. That's better. Where are the events? Time do I have to finish the events? There's an event. Okay, it's the, this is like the event I cannot finish, I guess. I can just click it and remove it. Is it still gonna drop a stone? Plus run rank of all mastery skills. I guess nothing bad about this. I don't really want to be with this wasp story here. Uh, doesn't really feel good. <laughs> Basically, now you have like this little dry. Uh, area until you like reach level 50 and when you reach level 50 you get like your paragon board and you're like immediately um, getting a huge bonus damage but this level 45 to like 50 is a little bit chewy this area I really don't like this monster set here at all 
And I finished the one event. I can't finish at this point. Oh wow, I respawn in like mobs. It's Let me go to the Fractured Peaks one. Oh, actually, there's Helltide, but I wouldn't recommend doing Helltide at this stage. Like, it doesn't really feel good to do it. So we want to find the 200 stuff here. I really don't like these, like, obelisk things. It's so random. I get, like, random damage from everywhere. Really hurt. Oh come on, this like this electric like um scorpion is like nuts. This is like the worst phase. You could go for strongholds, but I'm not doing this. I don't like strongholds. I'm just gonna bite through it. There's two of them. Like they, they, they shoot like this electric projectiles. Gotta really dodge these. see like the monster density like in uh, World Tier 3 like much higher than in World Tier 2 yeah that's like the name mob <laughs> So yeah, it's already getting better here. Yeah. Like the, the, the monster set here is uh, definitely better than um, in the other area. Oh, corpse ball. Probably not the best mob to engage here. Okay. <laughs> Big poison.
Even the little scorpions are like shooting these like projectiles. Everything seems to be shooting these projectiles. These are like super annoying. Why is my... Oh, okay, I had my ice armor on an item and I actually got rid of the item. So I don't have ice armor anymore. So yeah, this is like basically, like as soon as we reach level 50, um, we can either continue this or we can go Nightmare Dungeons. Not sure, I will decide that tomorrow. Because probably walls are still going to be bugged at this point, as I, as I don't think like you can finish the quest line. It's 200 stuff, that's what I was looking for. See right there, like 300 more DPS right there. That's like, that's like great. Right, so, oh, ambush. I need more bite berries, by the way. Bite berries and yellow wines, actually. So now we gotta start farming the aspects, right? As soon as we get like, you know, a good baseline gear, um, we will not um, stay in World Tier 3 for very long. We will go to World Tier 4 as fast as possible, basically. Um, so the Capstone Dungeon is level 70, um, but it's not very difficult. Like the only difficult is like basically the end boss and you can cheese the end boss by just getting fire resistance pretty much. Um, so I assume like we're gonna like maybe stay like for like a little bit more than an hour on this uh, tier, but you know I'm gonna um, I'm gonna stop uh, for tonight like in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna continue then tomorrow. also good like if i continue tomorrow maybe people have more time to um get to this state because right now um we cannot really farm the um the bosses because people are not ready for it yet but we get all these stones so these stones are gonna matter I don't know how many you will actually need to upgrade all your stuff later, but I guess um, you know farming them right now is, is a good thing to do. Like while leveling, I would probably not go to like ouch to nightmare dungeons because you're not gonna get the stones, and then after that, you know when you're like done with uh, farming nightmare dungeons, like what you're gonna do? Like you're gonna go back to farming stones. Like I'd rather like do this in the leveling phase and level a little bit slower. These things are like really, really doing a high damage. Like, this is really, like, I'm not optimized for this at this point. They are all like ranged with like elemental attacks, so it's a little difficult. Usually, like, um, at this stage, most mobs are like uh, physical based, but these are all elemental based, and we have no elemental resistances whatsoever. 
So I really gotta dodge these. Maybe at this point we should play the mockery support again so the construct does some taunting. Might be like useful for something then at least. There's actually people here farming it. It's level 42. I, I don't really think they can beat it. There would be loot if they could beat it. See, it's already getting like much easier for every level like you get okay so they actually summoned this guy well, let's see what happens Okay, so the boss already spawned with like only 30% HP. That's interesting. Wonder why. But let's see what he drops. Okay, stone. What a nice level up there. So much fun.
So yeah, like I'm after this event I'm gonna stop for today. So you really don't wanna do the summoning in this stage. Like I don't think like this event gives less XP than actually farming like the um the random events uh, like the random like chests on the map. And um you really wanna save these stones for like um World Tier 4. Because um these are gonna drop anxious stills and anxious stills are going to be your aspect farming, right? So you gotta farm the anxious still aspects for certain have number values, like for example if you wanna play Blizzard. And um you really wanna like focus on that later. So you have enough. I guess this is kind of a waste doing this. It takes like way too long at the boss like gives you like no really like significant rewards. Oh, well, actually, I got the legendary uh, governing stone here. Um, but besides that, like, you know, it's like, not really something special. I don't even know. Hail would be very... So good. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna call it for Jay. Let's see where we get tomorrow. I guess almost level 50 is like a good result.